If I had to choose between the Airwrap and the Supersonic, I would choose the Supersonic. But I do actually recommend the Airwrap to a lot of people though, for a very specific reason. We're gonna go through some key points that I have noticed to help you make your decision on which one would be beneficial for you. So let's start from the beginning, the rough dry. The Supersonic is going to get your hair really dry really fast. This one is gonna get your dry, hair dry a little bit slower, but it's gonna be really silky. This one's gonna give you a little bit more volume. This one is gonna be a little bit more difficult to get a little bit of volume with. You can still get some volume, but it's a little harder. I do a lot of Dyson experimenting and reviewing, so if you like to see this content or if you have any other ideas on content that you would like to see, subscribe to my channel and then leave a comment below to let me know what other things you would like me to try out. Moving on to the styling. You're gonna section your hair and you're gonna go in with whatever tool you're going to style your hair with. With the Supersonic, you're gonna need to buy round brushes. With the Air Wrap, it's going to come with round brush tools. The basic Air Wrap round brush is this size, which is a pretty decent size, but people with longer hair, it's going to take them a long time to go through and round brush their entire head of hair with this size round brush. And so if they had the Supersonic, they might decide to go with a bigger round brush to get through the hair quicker. It depends on your skill set. So let's say you have the Supersonic and you have all the round brushes but you have no coordination to actually be doing two things at once. So you have the round brush in one hand, you have the supersonic in the other hand, and you're having to follow and direct the air down while moving the round brush at the same time, and then resectioning the hair, and then going, and going into the back, going into the top, coming up, in this direction. Some people, that's just not gonna happen. They're not gonna take the time to practice or their hand-eye coordination just isn't there and that's okay. And that is when I would recommend the air wrap. Because instead of having to go through and have a round brush and a blow dryer and doing two things at once, you have the round brush in the blow dryer. So no matter what, you go through in section and it's all in one hand. You can use two hands if you need to. So even if you're doing a smooth blow dry, you can have one hand here, one hand there, or wrap some of your hair with your hand while you're doing it to pull it down. Or if you're wanting to do a curl, you can use both hands to move the air wrap versus having to use one hand to curl with the round brush while directing air on the round brush. For somebody that does not have hand-eye coordination or does not have the time to practice doing a round brush blow dry with a blow dryer and a round brush, they're never gonna give themselves a round brush blow dry with a supersonic, but they will always be able to give themselves a round brush blow dry with the air wrap. If you guys do decide to purchase any of these tools, please use my affiliate links below. It does help me afford to keep buying these things and use them and keep experimenting them to help you guys with your hair needs. So I'd really appreciate it. With that being said, with the air wrap. You've only got a couple options of round brush sizes, which gives you a specific size of curl and movement in your hair. And with a blow dryer, you can actually create teeny tiny little curls and movement with this blow dryer and a small round brush, or you can give yourself a really sleek, smooth blow dry. If you do not have the skill set for that, then even having this and all those round brushes is not gonna be helpful for you. And that's when this is still gonna be a better option. The other thing with this is, even if you're incapable of using a round brush and a blow dryer to get curl, you're able to get curl going from damp to dry with low heat damage. The Dyson Supersonic comes with a flyaway attachment, a comb to smooth out curly to coily hair, and a diffuser to enhance your curly or coily hair. The classic setup for the Dyson Supersonic, I think it's a little bit more more inclusive 
inclusive of all hair types. Whether you have curly coily hair, whether you have straight hair, whether you have wavy hair, you're gonna be able to use this and kind of get all the things that you need and then you would just purchase any round brush or brush that you're going to use to do whatever style that you're going for. With the air wrap, the basic sets that it comes with, one is a curly set. So you can have the diffusing attachment and the combing attachment that's gonna smooth it out as well as maybe a round brush or something. Or you're going to be getting something that just has the curling wand and the round brushes more for just smooth hair that's already smooth. Either way, with the Supersonic or the Air App, you're either gonna be buying more attachments or you're gonna be buying a bunch of round brushes and other brushes. At the end of the day, it more so has to do with skill set and how much variety you want. So if you have the skill set to use a round brush and a blow dryer at the same time and you are going for efficiency and wanting to get your hair dry, the Supersonic is everything you need. If you have less coordination and don't wanna to have to practice as hard, then I would go with the Air my professionals, we all feel absolutely like the Supersonic is for us. More of my clientele, I think the Air App fits more for them. Let me know based on this, which one would be best for you and how you feel about all that information because I know it was a lot. I think you're gonna be good either way, honestly. They're solid products. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more on the Dyson, Air App, or Supersonic. And let me know what other stuff you want me to look into or experiment with.